Planet Dinosaur Part 5. Enjoy. The next day. The next day, Scratch wakes up to his flesh being torn off from an animal. Scratch wants to see what it was because he hopes any none of his young wings are being torn apart. But fortunately for him, that was not the case because his youngsters were just feasting on the dead Herosaurus that he killed yesterday. Or more like his mate killed yesterday. Scratch is hungry for breakfast and the, and the carcass is still fresh, so he decides to take a bite. His mate wakes up to chewing and decides it's home. It's time for breakfast too. She gives Scratch a nudge and then starts eating. Suddenly, there's a rumble. The, the volcano near Scratch's nest nearby has been acting a little rumptious lately. It hasn't erupted in over 10 years and is beginning to start build up some steam and lava there. Scratch knows that they'll have to leave their nest someday, but he knows they still have a few days in their nest left before they have to abandon it. But unfortunately for Scratch, he's wrong. Just when he thought that everything was fine, just for now, the volcano began to erupt. The youngsters notice it, and one of them even falls down because of the noise. The carcass is blue, is blown over because volcanic. Aerosaurus body is burned to death by that volcanic fall. But actually, luckily for Scratch, that is just the start. The rumbling stops. That is just a warning that is going to erupt in a few days. Scratch decides it's time to leave their nest because he wants his family to stay safe as possible. His mate agrees, and they take the youngsters with them. The youngsters follow their mom quickly. Scratch does the same. Scratch's mate and and Scratch's mate and um, Scratch's mate and his family head out to, towards towards the forest where they're going to be staying by the river for a few days. A couple of hours later, they find a perfect spot to shield themselves from the volcanic eruptions. Under a small rock is where they make their home for at least a now. The youngsters quickly, ru quickly rush inside. Scratch's mate stays with the with the with the off with their youngster with the youngsters. So Scratch will set up to find some food himself. Scratch 
goes near the river where he believes it is most vulnerable to hunt. But unfortunately for him, there's no dinosaurs around to be seen. But luckily for him, he sees a small Carnotaurus walking up to the river to take a drink. It is only opportunity for a meal, even though he doesn't normally hunt Carnotaurus. But it is only a chance to feed his family for at least a few days until the volcanic eruption activates. <laughs> Once the Carnotaur is caught in the six ton in the six ton pressure of the Tyrannosaurus jaws, there is no way he can escape. But even when Scratch hunts around these lands, he is still aware of his deadly rival who also hunts around in these lands with him. He has known it for a while. And here, that can only mean one predator. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore ever known to have roamed the earth. Its main characteristic is the spine that grew on its back up to five feet and weighed around 12 tons. As you can see, this Spinosaurus is missing a claw on its foot. Judging from the bite marks, marks archaeologists have found this t this torn off skull, torn off bone of the foot skull of the foot skeleton, and judging from the bite marks of it, it is suggested that a Utah raptor has done this, a, the the most the most biggest species of raptor of all. But luckily, the wound has healed, and the Spinosaurus can still continue on with its life. The Spinosaurus sees Scratch feasting on the dead Carnotaur that he kills. Just when Scratch is about to carry this home, it starts. Suddenly, Scratch sees his rival and eyes him furiously. The two fierce predators look at each other with furiousness in them. And then the fight begins. To be continued.